we're back here on Moto to Training and this time we actually gonna review certain things and these were two different requests that we got from um, several students. Uh, one of them was uh, I wasn't including the this additional um, menu bar up on top which is the standard from Apple but I think it's, it's definitely really important. Um, and I would include it going forward. You know, again, I'm new to these videos, but at the same time, I feel like they're very helpful, and I think that it's great to backtrack on these. So these will be included on the videos going forward. Another thing is, I wanted to actually um, show you that we we did briefly talked about the lathe tool, which is the let me see if I go in here the form tool, duplicate this um, radio sweep tool. And I want to actually review that because I think it will be helpful for a lot of the drawings and things that you guys are working in class um, and another way of building things. So <clears throat> I'm actually going, uh, if you remember, like instead of building it the way traditionally, the way we build it, we'll use the lay. So let's say we take additional time in Illustrator. Let me see if I find the Illustrator file. Um, this is actually ultimately what we want. But, you know, we built this and we used this as a placement so that we could actually build it. So we actually <coughs> sculpt the, the, the cylinder that we have based on following this shape. That was one approach. This other approach, we actually, um, I, I built all this in Illustrator and I just cut this in half this time. Attached this information so that I know this is thickness and you know, if you see here, this is the lid and, and, and the illustrator having a separate layer. And I have the sleeve and, and, and the cup. But for this one, we just basically just gonna use the, the cup and the lid is just for the exercise. Um, <clears throat> so I drew around it. The one thing I forgot is just like you have here, this is the inside. You just draw the profile all around inside and then this all, all this is gonna um, rotate so this will be inside and I, I forgot to do that down here <clears throat> let me just do that real quick because I know that this lip and then this goes up and then comes back so in Illustrator I had to add another point let's say around here and maybe one more because you got to push this up but you know this part is just for my own. Um, you, you guys could draw. I'm sure you're going to be building other stuff. It's just to just, you know, it has, it's just to remember that. And this will happen to a lot of us when we're starting out. Uh, you'll be like, oh no, this goes inside because yeah, it kind of goes around. There's a lip and this is the wall that is actually what the fluid is being held. And you just want to make sure that you are everything is right in the you see it's got to let me just get in close it's all right okay, let me try to get closer there you go it's all got to be straight it just helps so let's see if i did the same thing here some of these things yeah that's good i mean it, this is good enough and what you could do too is, you know, just separate this. I mean, I didn't know you could separate it in 3D anyway too, but I don't know what this is. Let's just delete that point. Go back to Y and Illustrator just to just, so you see now you're gonna have that little lip. And let's just save this real quick. So you go to File, Save As. I had already saved one in the desktop, so I'm just gonna overwrite it. And make sure you save that illustrated EPS. Uh, otherwise, it just it just never worked for me the other way. So just say save, replace it, and then just go. Make sure you go with this version. Write this down all the way to version A and say okay. All right. <clears throat> and now we go into a model. Let me just turn this off because we're not going to be using this one. Um, even the scene, just turn anything that might be on the way. The preview and what you do is you're actually going to import and let's go to the desktop which is right here cup lid bring that up see so pop right in see it the curve so 
And with that done now what we do is actually go in and move it to the middle. We'll just put it right here so you know you see the cross section of of the Y. You see the Y and Z. So Z is this way and you got Y going up. We wanna we wanna spin that right on Y. So here you go. Well, make sure you know just get it as close as you can to this little black line and then we'll we'll start the process click on polygon here see it so we start with the bottom and then where you said you see radial sweep click on that once so I'm in there click in the middle here boom see and then it just automatically it went 24 times around rotation and if we go into first uh oh we crash sometimes this thing just freezes on me so you said it went 24 I just want to make sure that always make sure that everything is on the uh, zero on center because sometimes you just when you click even if it's just a little bit off it might not make a difference but you just want to be accurate um, and another thing is like I wanted to point out that when you see count, you could actually make this whatever you want. It could be three. Three just gives you a different shape, or it could be a whole different design. You know, um, for 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 video games, they usually go low poly, so it's like ten, and then they just click tap, and it almost look cylindrical. But for what for what we're doing, printing graphics it was 24 <coughs> and another thing that I have to show you while I'm here is on you see the the end like if you go 90 it just gives you a little bit of it you know uh, if you go 180 so you could this could be used for other things and just to, it, it could be for, I don't know who knows just like a half of something or just to show a rendering of it so there's many ways. I'm sure you could come up with ideas on how to use it. <laughs> so 360 just fills it all up. And let me just go to reflections. And now you see that if we click on tap here, and if you go a little bit more than 24 or 42, it just look even more, um, you see it won't be so faceted like you see here. But if you click tap on this, it will be pretty good. So it might be good enough for it is it's all in the bottom you see how now the bottom has the little lip you know it could be less you can measure it and, and draw it how you like and now let's go on to the this part up here and I could have done again the same I could draw draw an illustrator of this whole entire path the thickness put a different shape in the bottom here you know it's just gone nuts and then you would have done that um, which if you want to, to have fun, you could do additional things like that. So now, oh, let me just hide this real quick because I have to select polygon, H to hide. And now, okay, so that's selected. I just want to be sure that, okay, here we go. Again, click in the middle here. Make sure that all this is on zero. Uh, look like oh yeah okay that looks good right um so then the following thing you do is you do space and 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 then you you could actually look at you know, you might not need this in the bottom and I forgot to take them off but you could do it in here you could just one second let me just hide these these are all in verse, so you, you don't need these bottom ones. So you could just sometimes, <clears throat> if you try, let me just do this again. Let me hide this. If you are trying to um, select something and it won't select, it's because the polygons are flipped. But we need to delete these bottom ones. So what you do is click F, and now you could select them. They flip. You might not see it, but then it's happening. Just click on delete and and now you can see through it and then flip again so now you could just click on tap and you 
you see now, you actually <clears throat> have everything built just from a vector based path. So I hope um, this particular lesson helped. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to um, um, email me and, and, and I'll, I'll reply as soon as possible or come up with any videos that you might be in need of. Um, I think I just wanted to show the additional tools and I think this will be very helpful for um, um, students who will be interested in working on paths and brought into Moodle and Lave or any 3D program. All right, thanks again and see you in class soon. Bye-bye.